guys, so today we're talking about my favorite lip product, lipstick. So we're doing my current top 10 favorite lipsticks, balms, tints, all lip stuff basically. Let's go. Okay, so as I said, this is my favorite lipsticks, tints, balms, all that. Um, I did one of these videos, I think a year ago. I'm not going to repeat any of those. I'm going to link that here. Those are lipsticks that I still use and like as well. But currently, these are lipsticks that I'm loving, newer stuff that I've been trying. And also, this is more like, you know, in tune with spring, summer, because I feel like that's the kind of like shades, the textures. That's my vibe right now. So these are my current top 10 favorite lipstick stains balms for spring summer first up we have this one this is from rom and or Romand. i don't know how to say it it's a korean brand i bought this in seoul it is available here this is the blur fudge tint it's also what i'm wearing on my lips right now i just really love the texture of this okay it it's like a very moussey texture like i feel like i've got you know chocolate mousse on my lips like that's that's the feeling i get when i rub my lips together it's moist it's not drying but it still gives you like a nice pinky matty vibe you know what i mean like it's not drying at all and i really really love this color and like the shade and everything for spring summer you do get these here and i will link them below uh they're priced at around a thousand rupees which is pretty good for the kind of tint it is and i just feel like with summer my um vibe is definitely tinted lipsticks more than like lipstick lipsticks if you know what i mean so uh loving this right now and yeah gonna be seeing a lot of this then we have this bad boy now this one is from natasha moore you saw this in my unboxing video she very kindly sent me this this is one of the coolest lipsticks i own because just look at this like you pop it open it comes out and it has a mirror so it's just really easy to apply and there's a really fun story behind this i already mentioned this in the unboxing video so watch it if you haven't watched it but i really love the texture of these lipsticks they're so so lovely they're just also not drying at all like for me going into summer i don't like dry stuff like i need it to be like moist and look slightly moist you know what i mean like i don't like matte matte stuff and i just love how they feel how they look and how convenient this is like just this you know uh, to have a mirror and just be able to take this anywhere like this is really really cool so this is the shade ambition i really really like the shade i feel like it's really neutral you can use it with like brighter colored outfits for spring summer that's really nice and also i feel it would work really well with indian stuff like if you're doing like even an ethnic look or you're doing like a sari i always feel these shades work better so i'm really digging this one then we have i think the sustiest lipstick of this video is it the sustiest yeah it is the sustiest it is the itwood house fixing uh tint the glow one which i'm loving currently now this is in the shade peach blended okay it's a nice orangey like peachy shade which is again a shade that i go for in the summer this is like as i said one of those proper korean tints if you want like that glass effect light shiny tint and you want like a bit of an orangey tangerine peachy shade this is lovely like i really really love this i have two shades in it but this one is perfect for the summer and it just works so well with literally anything and everything price wise this is 950 which i think is really great because they last really long like my earlier fixing tints the matte ones i'm still using and it's been like over a year and i've really rugged out them so Definitely, definitely loving this and I would definitely recommend it. From the sustiest one, we are going to the most expensive one. This is from Hermes. Uh, you guys have seen me use this one a lot. This is shade number 70. It's just the perfect, like nicest pink and it's just really, really easy to pair with anything. Like in the summer, I feel that's amazing. And the best part about this, guys, is this. Look at this. It is magnetic. So it just doesn't come off, right? Even in your handbag and stuff. Like it just sticks and I just love playing with it. I do that a lot when I'm getting ready. <laughs> it just, um, it 
feels amazing on your lips. The texture is great, easy to take off. Also, every lipstick in this video is really easy to take off as well. You know, I feel like a lot of lipsticks, they just don't come off and you, you're you ragrawing your lips a lot and I just don't like that, which is why I feel like I've started using a lot more like high-end lipsticks or more expensive lipsticks and tints which come off as well because I don't like to be, have any makeup on once I'm home or sleep and stuff like that. So I think that is something that you can bank on for all the products featured in this video. They come off really easily. We actually shot the cutaways, all of them back to back with me just taking them off really easily and stuff. So um, that's something I will say about each lipstick in this video. And yeah, this one, as I said, one of those beautiful pink shades that works with everything and if you just want a really luxe beautiful lipstick i would get this just look at the packaging like it's just so beautiful next up we have this one from nude sticks you guys have seen me use nude sticks ages ago when they launched in india uh this is the intense matte lip and cheek pencil in sun kissed pink now i like this one because it's like a nice dirty pink if you look at it right i like the pink pinks like the ms one that i was using but i also like like a dirty pink which is like a brownish pink um sometimes when you don't want a really vibrant lip but you still want a hint of pink i love this shade for that and the other thing i love about nude sticks is their packaging okay so it comes with a box which has a mirror uh, it comes with its own sharpener and i have a lot of the boxes from initially when they had launched and i did like um you know, I'd, I'd gotten a big bunch of them in PR and I use these boxes for my hair clips, for everything because they're so handy, they're metal boxes. So yes, it's expensive, it's 2,850 rupees. You're probably paying for all that packaging and the sharpener and all that. But it's a really good product too. Um, it's one of those lip and cheek tints like I really, really like in terms of even when you use it on the cheek, it gives you really nice, you know, like a nice flushed look. And it's, I guess, a dual purpose product. Of course, everyone can put lipstick on their cheeks as well. Our parents all did that to us in school. <laughs> but uh, this actually says that you can also. It's a lip plus cheek pencil. So um, I feel like I like dual purpose products. I love the quality of their product. And this is one that I've used for years, not the shade, but like, as I said, the lipstick. And it's really worked well for me. Then we have Hibiscus uh, in Burt's Bees, my old favorite in a new shade, okay. This is one of those all-time favorite lip balms that you cannot go wrong with. You guys know how much I love Rose and I still love it and I still use it. I got this in Korea on my last trip because I ran out of my Rose one and then it was really cold and my lips were chapping also. So I was like, okay, I saw it and I was like, let me get this also. So I got this one because of that reason, because I'm stuck to Rose as you know as a color, but I really, really like this one. So this is a much uh, deeper pink. The rose one is very like orangey and ready. This is more like pinky and like in a duller, easier, more like everyday kind of vibe. Like I know a lot of people don't like that brighter um, like lip balm. So I have really loved using this. Actually, I have both out now. I have rose and this because I have one each. Uh, and there are days when I just want to use this and I find myself reaching out to this a lot more. So yeah, loving this. The matte locked kiss lipstick has been with me for I think a year now. I bought the first one in Singapore last year and it is just fab. Okay, it's one of those lipsticks that you cannot go wrong with. I feel like this shade uh, Doyen, which is my current favorite red, it's potent, but it's not a jhatak red. It's more like a brick color, which is like, you know, more earthy. And I feel like with spring, it just works really well with like pretty colored outfits. Like it's not like everything is bright, 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 you know. And this one also has a mirror. So they have a little mirror over here, which is really like tiny. Uh, I'm also not good with tiny mirrors, honestly, when I have to apply stuff. I much prefer big mirrors, but it does come with a mirror. Now, this is quite pricey. This is 2,900 rupees. But if you're looking for a great matte lipstick that kind of lasts through eating, drinking the whole day, all of that, this is amazing. Like if you want to invest in a lipstick that's matte and that's going to last you all day long, this is great for that. So I have like four shades which are all amazing and unique. But this, of course, is like my favorite for spring summer right now. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this lipstick. Then we have this guy. This is the Benefit Beach VK Butter Balm. Uh, now, this one is in the shade VK Coral, which is my vibe. You guys know I like pinky, orangey things. I also have another one, which is a more like a darker brownish tone with a shine, which is also really nice when you want to layer it with lipstick. But I actually find myself using this one a lot. Okay, so this one I feel, uh, again, I use a lot in Korea over like my balm or otherwise just as balm. 
and I think if you want like a glossy balm mix this is great for that because it gives you that shine it gives you the hydration it's again really nice to pop into your bag because it has a screw cap so it won't come undone if you want a pop of color if you want hydration if you want all of that but yes it comes at a price it is not cheap but it is really really good then we have this beauty look at the packaging of this guys so this is from Too Faced and the packaging on this is just beautiful um again a shade that i wouldn't normally go for but i'm surprised how much i love it okay so this is the shade uh ganache and it is just such a lovely lipstick like i cannot tell you how smoothly it glides on and it just just looks beautiful like i would wear this a lot with like my indian outfits or even with like a really bright outfit that you're wearing for summer like i i started doing that where i do a nude lip and i do a really vibrant outfit i was never that person i wanted everything bright right right but now i feel like i like a bit of like nude on my lips here and there you know what i mean or even to layer like i would probably use this and then use one of the corally tints over to create like a really cool color but yeah this is expensive uh two face products are not cheap but their products are good i feel like i'm saying that for every product in this video <laughs> but um i really really like this uh, lipstick is definitely great not cheap as i said but very good last but not the least we have this beauty from indie wild this is their uh, dewy lip treatment now i've heard amazing things about this honestly and i have to tell you i've only used this a few days but it's made it to the list because it is so so good i'm a sucker for any kind of lip balm you know that i like i like a nice balm and i like that hydration this is again one of those products as i said you can pop into your bag you can layer it with a lipstick you can just wear it on its own it's just really nice and thick like i like the thick consistency uh because it's just like if you want to just sit at home and you don't want to hydrate your lips and you want something that coats them well and stays there this does that like i feel like in the last few days i've used this so much where i've just been around and i've just put it on and overall my lips definitely felt more hydrated so yeah loving this in terms of like just as a great lip balm it's also nice to layer so if you want to just put a tint under and then layer it because it's a like a clear you know balm gloss feel when you wear it loving this it is for 7.99 which is pretty good for the size of the tube that it is and yeah it really really gets the job done so actually this is the the cheapest product of the whole video i thought it was the etude house uh, tint but actually it's this one which is pretty amazing because as i said the size of the product is pretty large like if you look at this uh it's definitely a big tube and you will get a lot of use out of this so yeah loving this so guys those were my top 10 current favorite lip products uh comment below and tell me with what your current favorite lip products are so that i can buy more because i literally feel like i only buy like lip stuff and brow stuff that those are the two makeup categories that i invest in because i use them the most but yeah as i said for me the quality of the products the texture how they get on get off all that is very important now as i use more and more products as i'm getting older in that space i don't mean like older like oh i'm old but i mean like i've realized the value of um, a great product and i'm not saying that all expensive products are great or you can't get a cheaper product that's great and so on so when i'm actually picking a lipstick that i like for a video like this i have many factors that i judge it based on price is probably the last one because it's also the look and feel when i put it on the texture of the lipstick how long it lasts um you know how it comes off how it goes on all of those things um it's not necessarily price specific to be honest with you because i judge it on various features but these are lip products that i've really loved recently so comment below and let me know which lipstick from today's video is your favorite and also if you have other favorite lipsticks that you guys are using currently uh maybe i haven't tried them maybe i can order those too let me know in the comments see you guys bye